Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, the salt in a sense. Even in his absence, I remain Kobe when it comes to the cologne collection. Rest in peace to Gigi. The freestyles are flagrant. Today, we talking fragrance, and we got a lot to talk about. This past weekend, I had the pleasure of attending the Scent Explorer International Niche Perfumery Convention. Let's get into this. I'm what they fear, black man with intelligence. Ghetto fab splashed with a dash of elegance. Well spoken, but could tell him hood. Attitude funky, but that boy be smelling good. Not just a rapper, I'm a poet. They point out all my flaws, but fail to mention my heroics. Through the ages, different phases, went from playing with razors to Dose Gabbana Blazers. No more child's play, we grown. Less bottles of Patron, more bottles of Cologne. It's like a cheat code to make a coochie melt. She paying more attention to your fragrance than your Gucci belt. So go to Bloomies, cop a bottle or two. Get some scents for your girl, cop some bottles for you. I'm giving out lessons. Come and take a part of this class. Before you spray that fragrance on, make sure you wash your ass. Look, that's just something that I got to say. Step your collection up. No more Axe body spray. So in a sense, so what a hater gonna tell me? I'm Kobe when it comes to the colognes. You smell me? Now, around 2019, I started putting my phone on top of my dresser and detailing different colognes out of my collection. I called it Fragrance Friday. Very humble beginnings, just letting y'all know that women are going to pay way more attention to that cologne than they do that Gucci belt. Around the same time, Scent Explorer brought its first perfumery convention to New York City. I didn't get to attend back then. I was still a pup in the game. This weekend, I learned I still got even more to learn. Before we get into this though, do me a favor. Like, share this video with your friend whose house smells funny, because chances are the Crips thinks they do too. Without further ado, let me bring y'all this news y'all can use. Now, Scent Explorer Perfumery Convention brings brand awareness to different niche fragrances. Now, niche fragrances are when a company exclusively makes fragrances. Dior, Dolce Gabbana, they make clothes, they make bags, they make bucket hats. Parfum de Mali, Killian, Damine, Zerjov, exclusive fragrances. And the beauty of it is, since they're not making any other products, they can concentrate on the beauty of the scent, the presentation, and the backstory. Um, a lot of people know I came into this game as a battle rapper. The biggest difference between battle rap and mainstream music is... When you go see Fabulous or Jada Kiss, you go see them through the front door, they come through the back door. You leave out the front door, they leave out the back door. Now, Battle Rap, you go see Arsenal, you go see Goods, you're standing right there with them. Niche fragrances reminds me of that because this weekend I was able to stand side by side with some heads from different perfume houses, Parfum de Mali and Amouage and different independent people. And you got to talk to them and hear the backstories of different fragrances and how they were composed. Uh, when we came in there, they gave us a bag, all right? The bag didn't really have much in it, okay? There were virtual attendees, and apparently the virtual attendees got the, all, uh, the samples. Um, I don't care, you know, it's New York. You got to pay to play out here. A lot of the visitors were complaining. Um, it had this. I guess it's like a potpourri pouch from the scent of woods. Pause. That house is a subscription service that each month sends you a candle and a fragrance. I actually already subscribed to the service a few years ago. I got a different fragrance every week. And I also got a discovery set. I was also able to bag some samples from the House of Unique Luxury. Masha Morrow, I hope I'm saying that right. The bottle on this was a beauty. Like a little bit more on my side, we have to my Like I said, that's the difference between niche and designer. You're gonna get a better presentation. All the samples I got were from this house. Unique luxury, crush on me. And uh, last but definitely not least, chocolate makes me happy. Beautiful gourmand scent. Um, like I said, man, I get a lot of my information from online and um. I thought I knew a lot when it came to this fragrance stuff, but there's so much for me to learn. Now, the first day I got in there, I decided I was just going to sample 
everything before I made a big purchase. Because one thing about niche fragrances, it costs a couple dollars, but uh, that don't matter because she's going to pay way more attention to that cologne than she do that Gucci belt. So I didn't want to put a, a dent in my pockets too crazy just snatching the first thing I liked. And um, I just sampled a bunch of stuff. I sampled so many fragrances, it made me dizzy. Um, they had different panels and different people talking. And like I said, uh, people from Parfum de Mali, the company, detailing the history and the compositions of some of my favorite scents like uh, Herod and Halton and, of course, that Leighton. Dude said, yo, ladies, if you want to keep your husband, don't let him go out the house with that Leighton. And I've been telling you about that Leighton for a very long time. It's a banger. I'm wise. Uh, they won Fragrance of the Year for a tobacco scent that they had. I, I don't really have any unwashes. I like Boundless. That's probably going to be my next purchase. But like I said, the first day, I decided I wasn't going to make any purchases and just get a feel for what they had in the building. Now, I did bad, y'all. I was supposed to come back the next day and make my purchase. Unfortunately, Bath & Body Works had a sale that day. $10 candles. I went crazy. I went crazy. I, listen, that's how I stock up on my candles, all right, for the crib. I, I, I come out the house smelling good, but my crib got to smell good, too. And once or twice a year, they have a candle sale, and I went crazy. So by the time I came the next day, <laughs> your boy was hurting, all right? I couldn't even get no, no smell goods. But uh, I didn't even feel like smelling any more fragrances because I was just dizzy. It was too much. So I sat down. They had another panel, different speakers, beautiful thing, different influencers, writers from the community. I had people asking me, yo, Bones, why are you not up there with them? Well, like I said, I'm still a pup in this. I got a lot more to learn. It's my duty, though, to bring y'all this news y'all can use because we are the minority everywhere we go with the exception of HBCUs. And I didn't go to college. But... I'd like to see my people in there represented the right way, and if we're going to do that, I got to educate myself. What I did buy is the Big Book of Perfume, for an olfactory culture, okay? It details how fragrances are made, produced, marketed, the history of it. Um, there was a guy talking about just the history of fragrances and how um, in the 17 and 1800s, um, kings wore fragrances. They may not have taken baths because the water at the time was polluted and they would have got sick or might have made them even dirtier, but they had on them smell goods, all right? Now I ain't talking about that Egyptian must. They had that exclusive stuff. So if you wore fragrance, you were royalty. You felt like a king. And when I wear them smell goods to this day, I feel like a king, all right? My duty to continuously bring y'all this news y'all can use. So I'm going to pick up even more books, Pratt Institute offers classes, same way I've grown from 2019 till now, I'm going to continuously grow. I want y'all to stick with me. And last but not least, I want y'all to wash y'all ass. Please don't forget that. Them kings back in the day, they didn't wash your ass. If you want to be a king nowadays, you got to wash your ass, all right? Do me that solid, y'all. Stick with me, rock with me, share the video, like, subscribe. I'm out of here.